What's going on guys? This is JT here and we're here on the Android German server on my man Smellalitz account. Before I get into this video, I wanted to quickly let you guys know that on Monday the 18th, I am going to be going live on my YouTube channel. So make sure you show up, come hang out, come support your boy, come like the live stream. I'm basically going to be doing the new game mode on both of my accounts, my free to play and my pay to play and also spending some gems probably on both accounts, but definitely on my main account for new pet traits and also just other things traits in general and some other things I need to spend gems on so this guy is the lucky winner from my $10 a day November giveaway oh also during my live stream I'm gonna pick like three or four or maybe even five different winners to win Lavanica for a $10 giveaway just for fun so if you guys want to win that make sure to show up as well meant to add that in so yeah this guy is the winner he won like three days ago and or maybe even longer I think this guy won like five days ago and he was like JT bro I really want to wait until Lavanica is sold over over here on the German server because I've been free to play now for about a year and a half and play Castle Clash every single day for multiple hours. So I'm like, okay, dude, we can definitely make that happen. So I haven't even checked the bazaar today, but I'm just guessing that Levanic is in there. Otherwise, he wouldn't have told me to sign on and today is the day. So what we're going to be doing is quickly going over this account, seeing what all we got on this free to play. Actually, let me verify that this is a free to play account. What do we got over here? We got, okay, so he spent... I wouldn't really, I don't even know if he's actually spent any gems. This could be tap joint, but only 3,200 gems. That's basically like a $10 purchase. So very little has been spent on this account. One thing I noticed right away is we got double evolved heroes. So I immediately looked at the gold vaults. And as I can see, we got maxed out gold vaults, which is very nice. So expecting to see a pretty decent altar here. Let's see what we got. We got... Walla Walla, we got Sasquatch, he even has Cosmo in the house, that's nice, we got Athene, Lazulix, we also got Ghulam, and then a bunch of the basic heroes, he does have Anubis, we got Boogeyman down there, along with Mahatma, he has Commodore as well, and Dovekeeper, not bad, we got Serena also, okay, and Ashura, wasn't that Ashura leveled up, what? How would he not level up my boy Ashura, my favorite hero, gets no love at all, come on now, man! Sitting at two level 200 as well. That bad boy needs to be evolved and then double evolved, man. Ashura is the man. All right, so we got some greens and blues in the back. Looks like we got a variety of blues, but a lot of frost switches as far as greens goes. What does his destiny look like? Because it's hard to get your destiny up on these free-to-play accounts if you don't have one of all the green and blues. And more than likely, you're not going to see a free-to-play player that leveled up all his greens and blues and then consumed them, right? Because I'm pretty sure once you level up a green or blue hero, level it all the way up and inscribe it, it counts as destiny even if you consume it. So yeah, he definitely needs to get his destiny up with it only being at 13,440. Can't even get his... Oh, actually, he was able to get his uh, Walla Walla to level 20, which is 11 of 11. But he's not going to be able to get him to 12 of 12 until he gets that destiny up a little bit. What? Why is it only 13? I thought it was 20,000 for level 20. No, maybe it's only 13,000. Did they lower the requirements for level 20 with this update? I'm thinking they did. Yeah, they had to have. It's only 9,500 now. Yeah, so since you can get Destiny level... I need to check that out, actually. I don't know what the requirements are, but since it looks like since you can get Destiny level 80 now, they lowered the overall requirements to make it easier for free-to-play players, mainly. That's freaking awesome. All right, yeah, I'm about to check that out on my free-to-play account. I haven't even checked. All right, so, yeah, I mean, we see this account. We see what's good. Let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the talents. We also got, we got Sacred Light. We got Revitalize on Cosmo. That's a good talent for Cosmo. We got uh, Survival on Lazulix. That's very nice. Looks like he has pretty solid talents on majority of these heroes. Even got the five Revitalize on Boogeyman as well. In this day and age, even for free-to-play players, it's pretty easy to get good talents, right? It's not all that hard. However... A lot of free-to-play players don't know what the best talent is on a bunch of different heroes. And it can all come down to what you like most, right? Different game modes require different talents, especially in the game of Castle Clash this day and age. One second, I just need to open up these eggs because they are in my way, and then we'll go ahead and get into the bazaar and then take a quick peek at the events as well. Hopefully today is accumulation bonus, which I believe... Do they do accumulation bonuses on Saturday? How about Hero Collector? I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah, okay, so they have Hero Collector and accumulation bonuses over on this server as well. Wait, what is? what do they get over here? You roll a Cyclops, you get a, a War God, a pass. Yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. That ain't bad, that ain't bad. What else do they got? They got, let's see, what does he got? What do they got over here? Oh my gosh, those are really bad rewards. Holy smokes. You know, one thing the German server does have that 
we on the American servers don't have is Thunder God's gift. Take a peek at this, man. I want this to come to the and all servers in Castle Clash. Look how sick this is. You can potentially get a Rosaline, and as you guys know, those are bags number two, so the minimum is 10 Soul Stones. If you spend, let's just take it out on whim and say 10,000 gems on this event, you're pretty much guaranteed to get a couple of those and a couple of Levanica bag twos, right? So one really good way to get Levanica bag twos is through Thunder God's Gift, saving up gems. I really am praying for this to come to the Android iOS, and, I mean the Android servers and the uh, iOS servers. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get into the bazaars. What all do we have coming today? Looks like we got accumulation bonus, unless this is spin gems and win. I'm not sure which of the two it is, but okay, so this is the pet event. They bring this pet event over here. They had this last time. Okay, so this lasts multiple days on the German servers. No wonder. That's actually pretty sweet. I mean, however, I don't think I'd really spend... Let's see, how many gems would I spend? I really wouldn't spend any gems cracking pets for these rewards. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, even these rewards are tough. I mean, 15,000 gems cracking eggs and that's all you get? Probably not worth it. The hyper strength is nice. Also, this figure bag's nice, but still not really worth it in my opinion. All right, so what do we got? We got the $5 pack. No bueno. Here is a $10 pack. It comes with Zephyrica Soul Stone. Definitely not going to be buying that. Then we got the $20 pack. Not that great. This pack, not that great either. This is a pretty nice pack. It's always good to see these uh, superior trait cards. You know, one thing I did notice as well on the German server, they're handing out this package through the balloon event, which means it's probably going to be coming to our servers as well. However, in my opinion, it's a little bit expensive. I mean, you need a double evolved to share a level 200. You don't need them skilled up, so it can be level 3 skill, but you need 500 of these Rumpenkintes Honor Badge Packs, which is just insane, and 200 Mastery Essences, which is an insane amount as well, and then you only at most, I mean, you're probably going to get one to, or two Soul Stones, right? So it's like, do all that for one Soul Stone? Uh, no, but if they handed out like 10 of those, maybe it'd be worth it. I don't know. They just need to up the amount, right? The same with this amount of Crystals. That's not even enough to Destiny up one hero, and they want 5,000 gems for it, so it doesn't quite seem worth it. Sorry, I've been uh, going around the bazaar. Let's go ahead and get into the bazaar. Where is the bazaar? Where's the bazaar that we need? We need... Oh, wow. We got a free pack coming, too. That's going to be nice. That actually has... A... Ooh! Comes with magic powder. Yeah, I'm excited for that. I can't wait to use the magic powder. And also, comes with a bunch of different scraps. All right, so here is the bazaar. Where is the $10 pack? Here it is right here. All right, so we got... Wow. The new talent. Okay, we'll take the shield talent. We also... Or the silence talent. We also got... 10 coins, which is always nice to see in a bundle, and then Levanica himself, plus the Levanica scraps, and a level 9 flame guard, which is actually pretty insane for free-to-play accounts. I could even use that on my pay-to-play, to be honest with you guys. This $10 pack, in my opinion, is super nice. Like, if I had a free-to-play account, this would probably be one of the $10 packs I would buy, hands down. So, let's go ahead and snatch it up! Right, we are good to go. Went ahead and snatched up that pack. He gets 1960 gems. Man, it seems like a pretty weak amount of gems. Do they get less gems on the German server? Let me see that. Oh, they only get a 40% bonus. Wow, that's pretty bad. I mean, normally it's like 80 to 90% bonuses on our server. So, wow, that's kind of weak. Sorry about that, my good friend. Wish you got a little bit more gems, but can't help you there. And you did get some nice rewards, obviously. <laughs> Also, I mean, got Levanica, 1,500 Igniting Stones, and also got a couple of other bonuses, but I don't really think those are going to be that much of a help. Let me take a quick peek. What do we get here? That was, was that the level 2 or level 3 bag? Let me see. Does this account have all the heroes it can give? I don't think I saw a Storm Eater. Oh, yeah, he does have Storm Eater. All right, so, yeah, I think he has pretty much all the important heroes anyway. He has Serena, Storm, and Dove right there, so I don't think there's really anything we can open up to uh, get him that he doesn't have. All right, let's go ahead and open up this Levanica and check the events in the uh, Bazaar. All right, so what it? yeah, Sasquatch he had, yeah, he actually has all those heroes. Maybe not Professor Ribbit though, I don't know, I didn't see that. But one hero I know he doesn't have is this bad boy right here. Levan! Okay, and he can go ahead and double evolve him right away, which is freaking awesome, and start using it. I wonder how many, let me see how many breakthrough, because I didn't go through his warehouse. Let's see how many breakthrough. He has tons of books, enough mastery essences, so that bad boy's going to be 10 of 10 right away. And how many breakthrough crystals does he have? Did he save any for this Levanica? He's got, he can get him to uh, 12 of 12, so that's nice. As far as breakthrough goes, he does have some nice save talents as well. 
which is gonna be helpful. Breakthrough, he's got a little bit, but not very many, not very many Zenistones, so that could be a little bit of trouble. So if he gets a little bit more Zenistones, he'll be able to break through him up a little bit more. All right, let's see what Levanico is born with, just because it's the old school way, even though it doesn't matter anymore. Let's check, all right, so he's born with Scorch, and just for good sake, we're gonna go ahead and get him to 10 of 10 right now, because we know this man's gonna be doing it anyway. Haha, <laughs> looking good, Levanico! All right, let's get into the events. What do we got going on today? We got trash. I don't even know what that is. So I'm not, maybe I'll just let him do events. Events are always just so crazy over here on the German server. You can never really tell what's going on exactly. Oh, this isn't even an event. So they're getting igniting stones. That's actually pretty sweet. Igniting stones is a final reward. I'd much rather have. Oh, I like those cookies as well. That'd be helpful for free to play players. I like this. Uh, they're signing a win a little bit better too. That's not bad. So Thunder God's Gift, Clasher's Tag, whatever that event is. Okay, okay. I don't even, I don't think they really have that many events going on. They got Discount Store. That's about it. And also, let me go ahead and claim that just in case he forgot. And they got, yeah, Floating Isle. So I think that pretty much does it uh, for this review. Like I said, the only thing I'd really help this guy, or I would suggest that this account needs to be done right away is, oh, I like the fact he has Wallet Destiny up too, has the most, that's nice, bro. Um, really need to work on the Destiny overall, because obviously a lot of these heroes are gonna be slacking, because you don't have any green or blue heroes. I don't think it'd be a waste of resources. So yeah, work on getting the Destiny to level 40. That way they can be 12 of 12 instead of 11 of 11. Anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video. I am out of here for now. Peace out.